Today we're gonna check out how to make this blend animation in After Effects. Let's go. Create a new composition. I'm gonna go with 1080p, rename it as text, click OK. I'm gonna type in something, press and hold control, double click on the pen behind, arrange it to the center, press the letter S, scale it up. I gotta go all the way up and I gotta go back to the composition, comp settings, and I'm gonna bring down the height. Make the text fit perfectly, the composition, something like this. Click OK, right click here, go to New, select Solid, make sure to make the color black, click OK, drag the black color under the text. And now we're gonna go here, right click, click on New Composition, and I'm gonna go with Animation, and I'm gonna make the preset 4K. Click OK. Drag and drop the text into the animation. Now I'm gonna go here, right click, click on new, select null object, press and hold control, double click on the pen behind, arrange it to the center. And I'm gonna drag the pick whip from the text and drag it to the null one. Make sure to toggle the switch so you're gonna see this cube where you can transform it into 3D. I'm gonna activate here and here also the 3D settings and go to the null, transform, and here we got the X, Y, Z rotation. All right, so now I gotta go and rotate it. I gotta start with the X, something like this maybe, and just rotate every each however you like. I also gonna activate the stopwatch, X, Y, and Z, and also the scale and position. The position here is gonna be somewhere here, like that. Now let's go to the text, press Control D to duplicate, select the bottom text, let's go to the effects and presets, and type in colorize. I'm gonna drag and drop the gold dip into the bottom text and press the letter P for position. And all you need to do is add here a hundred, for example, and you can also see the color had been changed. I'm gonna bring the opacity all the way to a hundred and you can switch up the colors, of course. I'm gonna go with a magenta, click OK. And I'm gonna select the bottom text, press Control D a lot of times. And I'm gonna go all the way down, select the text, which we customized, and I'm gonna bring it all the way up here. And I'm gonna select all the text, press the letter P for position. And I'm gonna go to the third text and type in here 200. There you go. 200, 300, 400, and so on and so forth. You scroll down and customize every each. And I'm gonna select all the text, collapse them, and I'm gonna go up to the null. And of course, I'm gonna select all the keyframes from here and press F9 to easy ease. And I'm gonna select the keyframes, bring it all the way here, go back, and I'm gonna reset everything the rotation to zero, X, Y, Z on zero. And of course I'm gonna reposition it to the center. And it's gonna go some like this. And I also gonna scale it down. So it's gonna start from here. So if I hit play, this is how it's gonna animate. And I'm gonna go here and customize again at the X, Y, Z rotations. And right now this is the animation that I would think of. And of course, it's gonna take a way more time to make a really decent animation, but at least you understand how to do it. This was it, thanks for watching.